I've shown you some, some pretty cool stuff, hopefully, about the nature of the number line and how crazy it is that we can remove an infinite number of points and it doesn't change it. Like, I think that should be pretty mind-blowing. Um, and the idea that the real number line is very, very strange. It's a very strange world. But there are still things I'm, I'm sure we yet to discover about the real number line. And there it is right there in our heads. We could think about it right now. But they're still covered. We haven't discovered them. Like the transcendental numbers. They were always there. We just didn't know until very, very... It was, it was only... Uh, what, 150 years ago. So it's really not very long ago at all. So the, the idea that I come away from with, with numbers is I have a very, very strong appreciation and understanding of where I feel like we're at at the moment. Because maths is nebulous. Like there are things out there that just are kind of, they're not, they're not what we get told at school and uni. Like, we get told the symbols, and we learn the symbols, and we see how it all fits together, and we go, oh, it all fits together. Well, someone actually was dealing with nothing. It was, they were dealing with, for example, they were like multiplying numbers together, right? And they discovered that some numbers weren't multiples of any other numbers. So, you know, you're fine with four, that's two times two. But five is, that's not multiplied by anything. And it's like, oh, there's seven, and there's 11, and there's... Nine. And so you start, you start going, well, these are really useful numbers. You know, um, what should we call these numbers? And you think, let's call them Bobs. Yeah, why not? Uh, my, my best friend is Bob. I'm going to call these numbers Bobs, right? And then someone comes along and says, you know what? You know you were talking about the Bobs. I actually discovered that any number is actually Bobs multiplied by one another. So, you know, uh, 30 is 2 times 3 times 5. And you'll go, yeah, but it's also... 1 times 2 times 3 times 5, and 1 by 1 by 2 times 3 times 5, and 1 by 1 by 1 by 2. And they go, oh, yeah. Yeah, so that 1 actually makes a problem for that. So let's call them bobs, but the bobs removing the 1, let's call them primes. And so suddenly we've discovered something that's really useful. But see, they didn't ex the, the idea of prime didn't exist before. We gave it that name, and we've put a little fence around it, and we've put spotlights on it because we've recognized it as it's important. That's what numbers are. We've, we've, give, we've found these things. And, and they are like understandable, and we've built structures around them. And then we, when we pass them on, or when they get passed to us, we think that that's maths. But they're still, they have a spirit to them. They have this, I think of it like nebulous. It's like a cloud that kind of somehow coalesces. Because when you study maths, it's just here. What the hell is going on? Like, how does it make any sense? I can't go and do an experiment. You know, I can't go and do the double slit experiment. It's all up here. And somehow these things work. And when you think about it and think about it and think about it and, and try and think, and then you build a little bit of a little bit of symbols, some symbols will help you, and the symbols work with the intuition, and then you keep doing, and then all of a sudden you prove something and you go, whoa, I've just discovered something from the infinite, from outside of space and time or something. <laughs> so the, the idea is that what I get left with is that numbers are, are in flux. And these symbols that I've made here are all in flux. And I would love the opportunity to go into the future, 500 years from now, 1,000 years from now, to see what, what maths would look like. I would love that. Because I, I, I'm assuming it's going to be completely incomprehensible to me, even natural numbers and even these little numbers. But, you know, it's going to be something pretty amazing.